Welcome to Gadget Cafe TV. I have here Samantha, and Samantha is from Elland, where we are situated. And I've invited Samantha to come in and tell us about what she does in Elland. And uh, we want to try and uh, sort of do some coffees as well. So have a coffee while we talk. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you for coming, Samantha. Thank you for having me. And uh, tell us a little more about what you do. Uh, so I um, run a not-for-profit organisation. Okay. We're called Curel, and we specialise in movement for well-being. So um, my background's in dance originally, um, but I've got into the health and well-being of movement. And we set up our organisation to help people live happier lives uh, by learning how to how their bodies work, basically. So um, we do a variety of different things, and some of them are specifically for the community in Elland, and others are a bit further afield as well. So tell us a bit more about Elland, because we are in Elland. Yeah. We we came here about ten years ago. We used to be in Halifax. Okay. Uh, so Elland is sort of uh, bordering uh, uh, Halifax mm -hmm. uh, and also very close to Huddersfield. Yeah. So tell us a little more about Elland itself. Well, I <laughs> moved to Elland uh, three and a half years ago. Um, I roughly knew the area, but um, not Ellen specifically. And then since I've moved here, I've got to know quite a lot of people. Um, and it's quite a varied place. It's got a lot of history to it, which is mm. really interesting. Yes. And pla businesses like Dobson Sweets are based here. Yes. Yes, and uh, the Rex Cinema, which is Rex Cinema, is quite famous. Yeah, and uh, in and uh, around here, yeah, there are definitely. lots of people who come from Huddersfield and the surrounding areas. They do, and yeah. and they have got quite good entertainment uh, on a Saturday and during yeah. the week as well. Yeah, isn't they it? have all sorts yeah. of things on. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's a really interesting place. It's also kind of um, there is some feeling that Elland needs some support these days. Mm -hmm. You know, lots of things have changed, haven't they, with high yeah. streets, yeah. Uh, the way the world works has changed yeah. um, and some of that has a negative effect so yeah. there's parts of Ellen that feel like they really need a boost yes. but there's also lots of really um, lots of potential here and lots of positive things going on and it's they celebrated 700 years yeah. last year or yeah, year before yeah, I think year before, wasn't it I think, yeah. yeah so yeah. that was quite interesting Absolutely. because they actually have a book that uh, or give, uh, gives yeah. all the, the, the interesting history. areas history yeah. and such like yeah. so let's make a okay. coffee mm -hmm. i'm going to uh, we did a video recently uh, of uh, making chocolate italian chocolate with our classic coffee machine right okay i'm going to do that for you today yes, thank you a white chocolate <laughs> uh, so we'll see whether we can get it to work okay. but this time i'm going to use a plant-based milk but with a dairy milk chocolate right okay so let's see whether it works <laughs> yeah i have got here some cho white chocolate so i'm going to put that in there it's about 700 uh, gra uh 75 grams i mm -hmm. think it's about 150 it's a uh, chocolate from a supermarket we did a video earlier so I had some uh, chocolate left behind <laughs> so I have got some hazelnut we did a plant-based video as well okay. plant-based milk yeah uh, you can actually watch that video uh, on our website as well as on YouTube uh, it sort of compares different milks mm -hmm. uh, hazelnut soya um, uh, and all kinds of different milk there are about eight different milks I'm going to put some uh, of this hazel nut that probably is a bit too much <laughs> and I use a little bit of corn flour to thicken it okay. last time when I did it I actually put sugar in and yeah. then realized that it was very very sweet oh, right, uh, yeah. because it's a white chocolate with a lot of sweet yeah, uh, sure. su sugar as well mm -hmm. so all I do is just do the same thing as I normally do So tell us a little more about this Welland uh, that you are involved yeah, with. Yeah, so Welland is our wellbeing festival for Elland. Yeah. And I started it last year, yeah. so 2018. We did a pilot project. Uh, so it was one day of um, fun, inspirational, creative activities that were free for everybody to come along to. And we're just trying to bring something new to the area that helps people live happier lives. Yeah. And so um, the pilot project went really, really well. We had loads of people come along. Okay. And we had things like um, 
workshops so there's dance taekwondo um music drumming all sorts of things yep. as well as um holistic therapies um ways to find out about support services in the calderdale area as well and local to elland um and then because it went so well last year we were able to get some funding this year which was absolutely amazing to do a weekend okay. so um the, yeah the weekend so how do you get your funding so we're a not-for-profit, so we apply to different funding bodies. Um, but for Welland this year, it's mainly lottery funding, and we mm -hmm. also got a small grant from the council, from Calderdale Council. And um, another thing that we're also really keen on is... Um, linking up with private businesses here yeah. as well so we've had a lot of support from private businesses yeah. sometimes that's funding and sometimes yeah. that's volunteering and things like that while while i talk to you let me do a coffee as well yeah yeah So I'm going to make something slightly different to what I did before <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we'll see whether it works. So I have actually made the uh, m chocolate, the white chocolate. Okay. And uh, so instead of making uh, just a cappuccino type of thing, yeah. I'm going to use that as a base for my uh, for my drink. Great. This is the first time I have done it. <laughs> okay. So I'm doing it. We shall see. So let me, let me get a couple of espressos and let's pour this it can be a bit thicker than this actually right. uh, so this is sort of a I put a bit more milk than I, I should have probably okay. so let's see whether it works so I'm going to pour that coffee straight in. Mm. Uh, we, have got, we have got a spoon. So would you like to try that? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's lovely. Is it sweet? <laughs> It's sweet, but it's. I thought it would be a lot sweeter. Yeah. And it's not, which is nice actually, because right. it's sweet enough, but not yep. overpowering. Mmm. Yeah. Something different to normal yeah, um, milky coffees, mm. and it has got the sweetness mm -hmm. as, uh, and it is chocolate. Mm. So I, I, I don't know. I, I've not actually mixed the hazelnut with uh, chocolate before. Yeah. Uh, so this is a first. Yeah, so nice. this is the first. And <laughs> to you. <laughs> uh, so tell us uh, about Welland because okay. this one happens in May, does it? June. June. Yes. Okay. And yeah. in the centre of Welland. Yeah. You have got lots of people interested in. I'm told. Yeah. We did something as well last yes, time. You I did. Think. Yes, you did. Yeah, you did a pop-up barista for us, That's so people right. could come and have a go at making a coffee, yep. and then because they made it themselves, they had it for free, which yep. was hugely popular. Very with good. With a lot of people very caffeinated that day. So are we going to do this again with you? <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, excellent. we'd love that. And I know that you serve coffee in your other thing that you yes, do. Yes. So we also do. So Welland is one of our community projects, but we do a lot of other work as well. And one area that we do is lots of classes and workshops on a regular basis in the Elland area and wider as well and one that we do in Elland is called um, Brews and Grooves, brew as in a cup of tea brew <laughs> or a cup okay. of coffee brew yep. um, and it's for people over the age of 55 okay. and it's dance I, class. I, I will uh, uh, be okay for that one. <laughs> yeah you're very welcome <laughs> to join. Um, so what we do is it's a really informal class so we set it up because um, so through Welland we did a lot of research before we started Welland on, on what well-being stuff there was available in mm -hmm. Elland, what people thought about it and what they might like um, and so through that research we've started doing things well and it's probably the biggest thing but also we've set up this class so it was originally funded by staying well which is an, an initiative in this area and um, so we got a little bit of funding just to get it started which was mm -hmm. amazing because it meant we could actually do it get on with it and it was really popular so we now run it every Tuesday morning and we have a lovely machine from you guys so 
we spend about 45 minutes dancing and right. it's contemporary dance with a little bit of ballet yeah. um, really relaxed very fun and then we spend a half an hour over a coffee and it's lovely very good and yeah. do you do private lessons I know that uh, yeah. somebody was asking the question <laughs> yeah, just, earlier. just before we started filming yeah and do you do yeah that I don't I don't do them at the moment but I have done them in the past mm -hmm. and I did pr I trained professionally as a dancer okay. so I can offer things like that as well yeah. I tend to do mainly group work these days mm -hmm. but I'm always open to what people are and looking for. And do you go into companies and do that, this yeah. uh, wellness as well? Yeah, so the other side of um, Curel's work, my company's work, is um, something we call Team Well, which mm -hmm. is about workplace well-being. Okay. It's less dance specific, this one. This one is more about movement in general and trying to empower organisations to embed well-being in their workplace through movement as well as through some of the other things that are often found in workplaces. And movement helps with mental health as well as physical health and it's mm -hmm. understanding how everything is connected so we do a lot of work um, tra training basically staff in organisations of how they can make that part of their culture. Um, so yeah, yeah, lots of varied things Excellent. going on. So how does one actually contact you or have you got a website that yep. you can actually go to? Yep, so Curel's got its own website. So it's Curel, C-U-R-E-L, yep. wellbeing.org.uk. Uh, we'll put that on our YouTube uh, and also on our yep. website so people can actually click on it yeah. and watch uh, and, and go and Find see out. your website. Yeah. Yeah. And Welland has a website as well, so it's wellandfestival.co.uk as well. Okay, very good. Thank you, Samantha, for coming. Do you want to say anything else about what you do? Or no, you, I, think I covered that, most I think of that's it? covered most of Excellent. it. Excellent. Yeah. And we'll just carry on drinking yeah, our coffee. Lovely. So thank you for watching Gadget Cafe TV. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we are trying to get more people uh, from local businesses, local communities and such like to come and tell us about their businesses or community activity so if you are interested in doing that please go to our website and fill in a form and we'll be able to uh, invite you in and you can tell us and our audiences what you do thank you again